It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Andy, we start with Kelsey Ballerini, who, if you should see her on social media prancing around in her uh, underwear, it's because she's working with the Airy Apparel Company. Oh. Yes, she is now a spokesperson for uh, for them. For their, so. for their underwear. That's right. Uh, Florida Georgia Line fans, the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum in Nashville, will begin an exhibit of them January 21st. It will run through 2022. So if you're planning a trip to Nashville and you're a big fan, I suggest you go check it out. Sounds good. Yes. Uh, in other news, Candy, uh, word is on the street. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson discussing children. Stop. That's what I saw. Stop it now. That's, unless it's a silly tabloid story, that's what I saw. It's a silly tabloid story, I hope. Now, the other end of that, a terrible, tragic, sad story yesterday. Nick Cannon let us all know that his five-month-old son, Zen, passed from a very aggressive brain tumor, Candy. Oh, my God goodness that's awful yeah terrible uh things took a turn after thanksgiving and and was not good and uh yeah uh he he came out and discussed it yesterday really oh that's awful yeah uh the rolling stones played a tribute show to charlie watts their drummer yay at a london club for only 200 people oh those 200 lucky people and it was hosted by watts's granddaughter love that yeah pretty uh pretty Fabulous. insane hope i get to see some video from me that me too and i'm not even a stones fan really kid. i mean i like the me either but hey now that's a show yeah. i want to go to absolutely reminds me of when uh you know that place in new york city joe's pub yeah uh it holds about 200 people i remember the first time dana and i saw sarah Bareilles there mm. uh great little place Uh, John Goodman, who you know, the actor, he lost a lot of weight, Candy. Yeah, he goes up and down all the time. Well, now he's fully down, and he says he's going to stay down, and he gives his tip. Uh, He's on a Mediterranean diet, which involves fish, olive oil, vegetables, nuts, and fruit. All good. And no alcohol, he says. Oh. And 10,000 steps a day. Wow, good for well, him. He looks fabulous. Doesn't sound all that taxing, Candy. It doesn't. 10,000 steps, though. You go walk that. You'll see. It's, yeah. It's quite a lot. That's the taxing part. Yeah. Um, Kirk Douglas's estate is up for sale for $7.5 million. What's interesting is he has a garden path of stones that were signed by legends. There's one signed by Lucille Ball. Oh, I loved that. There's one signed by Ronald Reagan. Wow. Uh, Dean Martin. Yeah. Sounds terrific. Pretty cool. Um, I never watched this show. I know it was trending number one at one point on Netflix. Outer Banks. Never saw it. It was a popular show on Netflix. They just got renewed for a third season. Well, maybe I'll take a look this go-round. Members of the Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Tool performed together for a benefit for a California elementary school where they were benefiting the arts program, Candy. Love that. Anything to benefit the arts program, I'm all for. Pretty neat. Um, ABBA, who they're, they're back, you know, with the new album and whatever they're doing, they are upset because they just got word that there is a tribute band called ABBA Mania. And Abba-mania. they want them to stop using their name. Now, what's interesting is Abba Mania has been performing since 1999. Uh, and all of a sudden now they want them to stop? All over their website and social media, like on every page, it says, we are not affiliated with the real band. You know, all, all the disclaimers. Yeah, I, You know, Abba should just like... Retire. Stop. Just, just enjoy the fact that people want to go out and back. Play. And yeah, <laughs> someone out there is excited. Yeah, come on, leave them. Al- I mean, honestly, it, I think it grows your brand uh, even more. Just stop. Give me a break. I agree. Anyone going to the ABBA Mania show doesn't really think they're going to see ABBA. Okay. Um, and HGTV on January third will unveil a new show. It's called Ugliest House in America. Oh. They will take twelve people's homes, look for the most awful way. It's decorated, and the winner gets a hundred and fifty thousand dollar makeover, and a bit of embarrassment. I guess, but I'll take the embarrassment for the right. makeover. You got that right. Oh my God! Uh, TV tonight, CMT with two Christmas specials: Brett Young and Friends, and then it followed by a Tennessee kind of Christmas. Sounds good. 
CBS with CSI Vegas finale for this season, and NBC with Chicago Med, Fire, and PD. There you go. You're bald and the beautiful everything from Nashville to Hollywood, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on my country, 96.1.